I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today in the hot seat we have Tanya. Now Tanya says, "I wake up early. I do everything from meditation to cold shower, but I always get sleepy when I'm studying. How do I stop being sleepy when I'm studying?" All right, Tanya, this is something that is funny as well as very very real. I remember having the same problem when I was learning history. Nobody put me to sleep like my history textbooks did. I even remember once staying awake at night because something was stressful and me thinking maybe I should start reading my history textbooks. Maybe this is the best melatonin drug known to man. Anyway, but in all seriousness, what happens is that there are many factors that start creating and making this perfect environment for sleep when we are studying. So let's look at three things that you could possibly do to help you study better. and not sleep so the first thing is check your position that you are in when you are sitting down very often when we are studying we are hunched over you will notice your shoulders hunch over and as a result what happens is that you can't breathe any more like right now i'm hunched over and it's difficult to breathe because your rib cage cannot expand your diaphragm cannot expand and hence you're not drawing in enough air now as soon as you start breathing shallow what happens is that your body loses its oxygenation and the more carbon dioxide that is there inside it creates that sense of sleepiness so one thing that you can do is you can start taking deep breaths whenever you start feeling the sleepiness you also should sit up straight maybe you know every time you finish a page of reading take five deep breaths or 10 deep breaths and you will notice that this deep breathing helps you out on the awesome 180 youtube channel i have in fact made a video called breathing better than coffee so this breath will wake you up better than coffee just search for it and you will find this video and do that breathing technique before you start your studies and you will see a big change in the way that sleep probably takes a little longer to set in so the first one is check your position check breathing don't hunch over the second thing is how you are studying you know if you are just reading and reading and reading and reading you are going to fall asleep because very often when we read our eyes follow that left right left right left right pattern and eventually after a while it starts getting tired our eyes start getting tired and hence they start drooping and they start you know slowly slowly feeling like sleep in fact this is why i keep telling people that if you want to go to sleep and you find it difficult to go to sleep read a book a physical book and you will start falling sleepy at night as well So this is one of the reasons why you start getting tired. So instead what you should do Tanya is that while you are reading your book you should also start writing things down on the side. So start making your notes and start making copious notes. If you are reading something underline things. This way there is some activity that is taking place along with just reading and hence you won't start feeling sleepy. The final thing Tanya that you can do I'm sure you've done everything like drink coffee and tea so I'm not going to talk about caffeine. But very often we don't study in enough brightness. Our rooms are dull. It is darkly lit. So put some more lights in the room. When you're studying, use blue lights if you can, because blue lights wake you up. Don't use the yellow lights. So you can use the white lights or the fluorescent lights. Those will help you stay awake longer. It's the exact opposite. If you're studying at night, please. use yellow lights so that you actually do fall asleep and you decide to fall asleep otherwise the blue lights will keep you awake unnecessarily so increase the brightness of your room and you will also and that will help you stay awake longer so here are three things that you can start doing three habits that you can make part of your daily study routine this is for everyone who's studying all you guys preparing for exams best of luck and study well now if you want to be featured on the next hot seat episode Check the link below. Click on it and send me your problem. Tell me your problem in as much detail as possible so that I can help you out. I am Ashton Doctor, your habit coach, and remember, awesome lives they start with awesome habits. Usually in a podcast, it's me who speaks to you and you who listens. But I've been seeing your comments, and it's time. It's me listening to you. Following the overwhelming success of this podcast. The good folks at IVM Podcast Network have decided to come up with a Kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language. Do make sure you let your Kannada speaking friends know about this as well. 
Now, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos, and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now. Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Think Fast, Varun and Sujitha talk about two growing categories, mental health and pets. They give us a rundown on why mental health apps have seen a rise, especially as a result of the lockdown. They also analyze the significant growth in the pets category of consumer goods. We often feel that we don't get paid enough for what we do. Join Chetna on Say No to Drama as she talks about self-worth. On Big Talk About Tiny Humans, Dr. Meghna and Devi Shobha discuss why feminism is a dirty word and why people find this term problematic. Sudisha and Arushi from All Things Policy talk about how the Indian economy pointed towards a 30% decline since 2016 in the number of employed young adults. And on the longest constitution, Priya looks at the long history of how laws on property are biased against women and how women have fought back to challenge these laws. Do follow us on social media where IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you enjoyed this show or any of our shows for that matter, Please do tell a friend. Word of mouth really does help us. And also, please, a rating if you could. That is also extremely helpful to us. And remember, we're also on YouTube. You can check out ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube to get a list of the different channels that we operate on YouTube. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, SBI Life Insurance, Bank of Baroda, India Water Portal, and Max Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible. Working Monday to Friday glued to your chair, making you feel dull? Worry not. Get your 5-minute weekly dose of travel around the world with postcards from nowhere. Join me every Thursday as I explore the strange, obscure and fascinating parts of the world and bring out facets of travel you may not have thought of before. You can find us on the IBM Podcast app, website or wherever you get your podcast from.